Still with frontline workers, a mass vaccination clinic is being set up at the Cargill Meat Packing Plant in High River, Alberta. That is the site of Canada's largest outbreak last year. Two employees died. Nearly half of the 2,200 workers contracted COVID-19. The immunizations are part of a pilot program and will be administered by the company's own team of nurses. There are hopes the pilot could expand to other meat processing plants, vulnerable because of tight working conditions and cultural barriers. The workers are part of Alberta's next phase of vaccine rollout, expected to begin in a couple weeks. And it cannot come soon enough. Alberta now has the most cases per capita in the country. More than 12,000 people are infected with the virus, a 41% increase in just one week. Many doctors say new restrictions won't be enough to flatten the curve. But Premier Jason Kenney is facing a revolt from members within his own party, critical of his latest public health measures. There is anger and there is frustration on all sides. And as Heather Urex West explains, the Premier may only have himself to blame. If you try to find a middle ground on the highway and stand there, you, t- you tend to get run over. As Alberta's third wave builds, Premier Jason Kenney is facing opposition from all sides. If we don't institute more uh, strict uh, public health measures, that inevitably the health system will be overwhelmed. What Albertans, particularly you know, in Cypress Medicine Hat, are asking for is, is more freedom. While doctors' groups say the province's new restrictions won't be enough to bend the curve, more than a quarter of Kenny's caucus believe the measures go too far. I respect their uh, responsibility as elected representatives to, to uh, articulate concerns like that. Uh, but at the end of the day, the government must decide uh, how best to protect lives and the health care system. Still, the Premier says he expects his members to respect public health orders and encourage constituents to do the same. Anyone that does not will be kicked out of caucus. But the mixed messages from elected officials are having an impact. We have the numbers, we are united, and we are not closing. On Tuesday, the owner of a Calgary boxing gym took to social media to make his intentions known, while the Grace Life Church outside Edmonton has been defying orders for months. It wasn't until this week that the RCMP moved in to erect barricades to shut the church down. The fact that we've got people in positions of leadership, people who are elected officials, uh, making claims that, you know, that the rules are too stringent is entirely unhelpful. But over the past year, the Premier's own messages have been inconsistent too. A week ago, the Premier was singing a very different tune. They were willing to tolerate some rise in the hospitals, some rise in the uh, case numbers, thinking that they wouldn't go up high enough to threaten the hospitals. These variants... The virus may have forced the government to change course, but many Albertans don't appear to be following along. Heather Urex-West, Global News, Calgary.